الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ولا ثم ما بعد أنوبل بدر الشيخ أبو عمر عبد العزيز طير حفظه الله reminded us of an important matter he حفظه الله started by saying and mentioning that the bounties of Allah سبحانه وتعالى upon us are many as Allah سبحانه وتعالى said in the meaning of the verses and that there is no bounty that you have except that it is from Allah likewise Allah سبحانه وتعالى said in the meaning of the verse, and if you enumerate and count the bounties of Allah upon you, you will not be able to count them and enumerate them. And so the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His blessings upon us are many. And the greatest of all of them, the greatest of all of the bounties and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us is that He made us from amongst the Muslims, is that He made us Muslims, whether we were born to, we were born Muslims to Muslim parents, or that those who accepted Islam and became Muslims and reverted to Islam, this without a doubt is from the greatest, from the greatest, and this indeed is the greatest bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon all of us. And so it is upon us to steadfast upon the religion of Allah, to steadfast upon the religion and the legislation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here we are, a month, almost a month, after the month of Ramadan, in which was one of the pillars of Islam, one of the great pillars of Islam. And in a month or so, it will be, a ta the time will come for another pillar from the pillars of Islam. In a month ago, we were in the pillar of fasting, and a month later, Insha'Allah, it will be the pillar of performing Hajj and pilgrimage. And both of those, for one who fulfills them, and one, and one who, who does them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and seeking the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then all of his sins are forgiven. As in the hadith regarding fasting, and likewise and as in the hadith regarding pilgrimage, and that the one who performs hajj and does not do any ill actions and does not speak any ill speech, then he will return like the day his mother gave birth to him, meaning that all of his sins are forgiven. And so it is upon us to steadfast upon the leg legislation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and upon the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First and foremost, by fulfilling the first pillar from the pillars of Islam. And it is to testify that there's none worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And to know its meaning and to fulfill it and to say it by the tongue and believe in it by the heart and to practice and act upon it with the limbs by way of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and associating no partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala worshipping none other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for indeed whomsoever associate, associates a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a worship then all of his deeds all of his good deeds are removed and he will dwell in the hellfire eternally if he dies upon it and after that, to fulfill the second pillar from the pillars of Islam, to establish the prayer, to pray and establish the five daily prayers, to attend them and pray them where the prayer is called, in the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those who are able to. And if one has a legitimate excuse, then to establish the prayer and to pray as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him, and as the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us, even if it was at one's house, if he, was a, if he has a legitimate reason and a legitimate excuse to not attend the prayer in the congregation. And this is from the steadfastness upon the religion of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And other than this, from giving zakah, and other than this, from steadfastness upon the legislation 
and the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded all of us, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and all of those who follow him, as he subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the verse, so steadfast as you, you have com as you have been commanded and those who repent with you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded all of us to steadfast upon his religion, to stay and steadfast and hold on to, to the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared a great reward, a great reward for those and a great glad tiding for those who steadfast upon his religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the verse, indeed those who say we believe and they steadfast, meaning they steadfast upon the religion, then there is no fear over them. There is no fear for them. There is no fear of that which will come in their lives and in the hereafter. There is no fear for them. Nor will they have sadness and sorrow. They will have no sorrow over what has happened. They will have no sadness and sorrow over that which they leave from the worldly matters. And likewise in the other verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of it, indeed those who say we believe and steadfast then the angels come down upon them. The angels come down upon them. This is when they are dying. As the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned, that when the believer, when the believer is dying, then angels who have beautiful faces, who look, that look good and have beautiful faces, they, they come down upon him and give him the glad tiding. They keep him firm. They keep him firm. And they give him the glad tidings, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, that they come down upon him to say to him, do not fear, do not fear that which will come. Do have no fear of that which will come after your death in your grave. Rather, in your grave, your grave will be a place in the paradise. A gate from the paradise will be opened to those who, who believe and their dwelling in their graves will be a place of pleasure and happiness. And likewise, what will come after is even better from the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from their entering the paradise. And likewise, that they will say to them, they will have no sadness and sorrow, no sorrow over that which they leave from the worldly matters and that which has passed upon them from the hardships and the worldly matters and give receive the glad tiding for the paradise that you were promised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as in the meaning of the verse he said what means indeed Allah keeps those who believe firm and steadfast upon the religion in this life and in the hereafter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes those who believe and do righteous good deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps them firm and strong in this life. He gives them safety and He keeps them firm and steadfast upon the religion in this life. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them likewise safety and peace in the hereafter. And this is for those who steadfast upon the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with His names and attributes to keep us firm upon His religion and to allow us to steadfast upon the religion until the day we meet Him subhanahu wa ta'ala while He is pleased with us. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in.